Hey guys, it's Kendall Hart. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is obviously going to be an apartment tour. It's very much been long awaited. It's been about two months since I moved into my apartment and I just now feel like everything's put together. The decor came out just how I wanted it and I can finally just chill and enjoy my apartment so with that being said i'm gonna take y'all through my full apartment i'm gonna tell y'all where i got every single piece from because i really did meticulously decorate exactly how i wanted it one thing about me i'm very much a homebody i would say i love being at home i love my peace i love just being by myself being independent so my apartment and having a space that i just love was really really important to me like probably number two or three on the list of my priorities for starting my new life, my new job, etc. And then with that being said, for those of y'all who don't know, I just recently graduated in May and I moved to Alabama to start my engineering career. And this is my first apartment ever. Like obviously I've had an apartment in college and had roommates, but this is the first one I'm paying the rent, bills, all everything's in my name, period. I just feel really blessed, really grateful to even be able to have this apartment. It's a two bedroom. I love my apartment itself, but I also love my apartment complex. So yeah, I just been feeling really blessed, really grateful. This moving process is not stressful for me at all. I had a lot of help. My entire family came down and helped. Everything I'm about to show you was helped put together. Some things I put them together myself, but for the most part, my family was a big help like it just wasn't stressful like finances um finances having to put things together hang things up my mom like literally everybody pitched in everybody supported my mom got my couch for me my dad got my tv he got it mounted he purchased it my boyfriend hung up pretty much everything put together pretty much everything my grandma got like my desk so everybody really just i've been feeling so loved so blessed and I'm excited to show y'all the finished product because it's been a long time coming. So as far as decor wise, I tried to do like neutral chill with like pops of pink color. So like in my kitchen, it's like black, neutral, calm, modern tones. And then in my room, I wanted like a really beigey, um, like comforting, inviting hotel kind of look like with lots of symmetry and just really cute i wanted a tall headboard like everything that i wanted i put exactly how i wanted it and if i didn't like it i returned it or i'm in the process of like getting a new one so i'm very serious about this being my space and me just loving it so and let me tell y'all it was not cheap but it was worth it so let's get into it i hope y'all enjoy i said i was going to create like an amazon storefront just for this I don't know if I'm going to do that. If enough people want the links to things, then I will, but I'm probably not going to do that to start off with. But anyways, let me know if y'all need any links in the comments, and I'll either reply to your comment or put it in the description box. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, you guys. So, this is what my apartment looks like when you first walk in. We have my kitchen to the left, my living room in the middle, and my laundry area, and the guest bathroom door to the right i also have this little entryway door or entryway closet and this is really just a junk closet i have those two boxes from amazon because i'm about to send some stuff back and i have my mop my broom my vacuum my little toolbox and up here i have like just some paper towels and sometimes i'll put toilet paper up there too and then to the left we have my kitchen I love the open concept of this kitchen it feels really spacious when I'm cooking and stuff um, and I also love the appliances they're stainless steel this so these two little girls when I first came moved in like literally my very first day they gave me these sticky notes and I just have them here it's so cute and it's such a good message so I haven't taken them off yet <laughs> and it's been like two months but it makes me happy then i have my air fryer my little bowl for fruit if i have like bananas or something i'll put it in here right now there's just one avocado and then i have my knife set that i got from amazon this i got from at home at home and i also have my cookbook right here as a little decoration i got the cookbook holder or shelf whatever you want to call it from Amazon and then this is the Kitchen Envy cookbook by Jay Nice. I've made about four or five things from there and they're actually really good so 
Um, I kind of just open it to like a colorful page that's close to the middle and I'll have it like that for decorations. As you can see, like I was cooking and it got some stains, but whatever. And then I have my paper towel roll and my dish mat. So, and then my soap dispenser here and some nice flowers and candle that I'll show you in a second. But what I do want to say about my kitchen, it's important to match your appliances to the decor. So like my microwave and my oven was already black and stainless steel. And I just think black looks better than stainless steel as a whole. So I kind of, I kind of focused on the black, my air fryer, black, all these things, black, silver a little bit. And then I made sure to get like a black dish mat, black little holder and then a black soap dispenser. Like these are little things, but I promise they make a huge difference when you're decorating. So moving along, over here is my pantry. It's semi-organized. I actually need to go grocery shopping, so I don't have much in there, but it's a pretty spacious pantry, like for just me. I mean, I don't need too much. And then this is just like, I actually don't know what this is. I guess a heater, AC, something for the water. I don't freaking know. Um, and then if you're looking at my kitchen from this angle, it looks like this. I have, I typically leave this here because it's my work bag and it also goes with the aesthetic of my apartment. So I kind of just leave it here, it's cute. I have bar stools. These bar stools I got from Amazon. I was thinking about getting a third bar stool, but honestly, I feel like it looks good. It fits the vibe, it's only me here. So I think three would look I have a thing with like even numbers. I think three would look awkward. And then obviously there's not enough space for four. So I'll probably just leave it as it is. And then this candle I got from TJ Maxx. It's part of the, it's part of the sand and fog collection. And I just love it cause it's just, it gives a little oomph. Like it has how many wicks? It has seven wicks. And then this vase I got from, where did I get this vase from? I forgot where I got this vase from, but I will but I will look it up and put it in text over this right here when I'm editing. But it did take forever and ever and ever and ever to come. Like it literally took like six months. And it's called the Solaris vase. Um, but it's really cute. I think I might need one more rose to make it like evenly spaced out. But for right now it gets the job done. And then over here. This is my little, I hate that y'all can't see. Let me try to turn the light on so y'all can see. Okay, so yes, this is a DIY piece that I made by myself, so cute. It's like a textured silk type of thing. Let me see if it'll focus. And I just have this light for when if I wanna turn it on at night, but it's really cute obviously it's not showing up the best on this camera but in person you can see all of the like little textured and you can see it for real for real. I'll try to insert better videos and pictures of it but yes this is my little bar area it's mainly for decorations as y'all can see I only have one bottle down there and then a bunch of glasses I need to get like a permanent Bel Air bottle or like a permanent wine bottle to put down there just to make it more cute and full. Um, kind of in that open space right there. I'll probably put like two wine bottles or something because it looks pretty empty. So I'll show y'all more of what's on the wine. So I have the wine goes in, wisdom comes out. And then I have my Venus LaFleur flowers up here that have my first and last initial. I have this little scented candle. I got this, I'm not candle. I don't know what you call these. I guess just fragrance, I don't know what you call that, but I have that, I got that from Amazon, I got that from TJ Maxx, I got the wine glasses from Home Goods. These martini glasses I also got from Home Goods. The little small meal cups I got from Home Goods. Candles, Bath and Body Works. This little cocktail book is so cute, I haven't used it yet. Right now, it's primarily just for decorations, but I got that from my mom, so I'm not sure where that's from. I have some more martini glasses down here, just a little Don Julio, and then this is just like a little, this is just like a little style 
I had four books. I'll show y'all later. I got this from Home Goods, and it had the four like Dior, Prada mini coffee table books so this is just what they came in and i just stuck it right there because it matches and it's cute yeah so that's that then if you go over here to my living room this is what it looks like if you were i guess standing like at the bar in the kitchen and then this is a better angle if you're standing at my second bedroom so the couch i got from rooms to go i will link that in the description box it was pretty pricey, but it's worth it. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is if you sit like in the crevices, you can kind of feel the bottom of the couch. So it's not like super fluffy in the crevices. So you kind of have to lay strategically. But this ottoman part is really comfortable. And then the rest of the couch is really comfortable. I just don't like the crevice part. Like it's just kind of awkward. And then these pillows, I don't know where I got these pillows y'all. I think Target. I have them, I've had them since I was in college, so they're kind of outdated. I need to get probably like at least two more pillows to put on my couch. This little knit blanket, I got this from Amazon. Originally I had it in this little basket, but then I got a bigger blanket, so I switched the blankets because if you put that black blanket in the basket, you can't really tell that the basket is like textured or patterned. So I just went ahead and put a white. I don't know if I like it in there because it's two different colors from the carpet and it's two different colors from the carpet and it kind of looks like a towel or something or like laundry. So I don't know, I might get another black blanket to go in there, but we'll see. On to my coffee table details. So these are two of the books that I was just showing all at the bar cart that went in there. Um, Gucci and then Chanel. Got these from Home Goods. That little thing is like a little perfume, fake perfume. I'm sure there's just like some kind of chemical liquid in there. I got that from, I don't know where I got that. I've had that for a while. Same thing with this candle. It says Scorpio. I've had this for a while. I'm not sure where I got that. The vase and the flowers are both on Amazon. Honestly, I might just make a storefront just for this video because there's a lot of things from Amazon. Then if we go to my TV area, these two little things, as y'all can see, I have I have a lot of cords under there since they did hide the cable of my TV, but they still had to, I don't know why they didn't put it closer. Like, I don't know why they didn't put that over here so it would be like closer, but anyways, whatever. So these, this bar right here is actually two floating shelves. So the way you're supposed to put them is like stacked on top of each other or like staggered, but... I just wanted something that went all the way across, so instead of putting them on top of each other, I put them next to each other, and then I added that little decor that I got from Hobby Lobby on top, just to kind of hide the cable just a little bit. Obviously, when you're sitting down, you can still see it, but it definitely adds to the room. And also, I wanted to get like a full entertainment center, but I just feel like with the coffee table, entertainment center, I just think everything would have been too cluttered, so I just went ahead and did this bar. I actually love it. As you can see right here, it's two separate pieces, so yeah. And then we have, oh, I forgot my lamp. So if it will focus correctly. So I have this lamp right here. Actually, I am probably gonna get a new lamp because I feel like it's too industrial for the style of my apartment. I kind of want one with like a shade on it, like a black shade instead of just, cause at night when I turn it on, you can only see like the light bulb. Like it just looks like a hanging light bulb cause it's glass. So if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll probably get a new lamp. And then I have this black like little table that I can plug my phone up to, or just if I'm sitting on the couch right here, I can plug things up. Um, but I usually just open my doors and hide it. And then my curtains. I got my curtains from Amazon. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna close my blinds so I can show y'all my curtains more. But I got these curtains from Amazon. I got the rod from Walmart. My boyfriend hanged them up. That's a little bit above my expertise. Like, he did the curtains and he did this shelf because babe, like, mm -mm. I'm not about to be playing Bob the Builder when I have a man that can do it. So he did those. Shout out to him. I was kind of upset because the rings were silver, but honestly it's not that big of a deal, like you can't really tell. Because what I tried to do was like silver, gold, silver, black, white over there and then transition into like golds 
gold. My room is gold. So then it kind of messes up with the silver, but it's not that serious. And then this plant is from Amazon. I want to get another plant. And this I actually got from Hobby Lobby for only like $3 because it was on super, super sale. Um, I want to get another plant. It just looks a little too fake for me. And then I also have this. Hold on, let me show y'all. I also have this light that I will turn on at night to illuminate the plant. It looks really cute. And, but yeah, I'll probably get a new plant soon. Okay, on to my bedroom. I know y'all were looking at it in the background. Let's get to it. So this is my bedroom. I love the open double door concept that, that my apartment has. That was one of my favorite things about it. Um, let me open the blinds, get some natural light. I will say about my bedroom, my, I have two lamps that are coming from Wayfair and they're like gold lamps with white and I'm probably going to have to get rid of that and just have the lamp and the lamp because this is not the finished product. It looks pretty asymmetrical. I'm not sure I love it, but pretty much my bedroom's done for the most part other than me having to add the lamps. So I got this blanket from Amazon. I got the duvet cover from Amazon and the actual duvet insert. I got it from Home Goods. These two pillows, where did I get these pillows from? I think Home Goods. And then the pillows in the back and the cover, I got them. They're European size and I got them from Amazon. And then I have my sheets and stuff. I got those from Costco. These two nightstands I got from Wayfair. The mirrors, I got them from Home Goods. The pompas, I got from Amazon. And then the little base thing that the pompas is in, I got it from Home Goods. So, pretty much the theme is Home Goods, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, and TJ Maxx. Okay, guys, so this is actually my room. It's about four days later. My lamps came in the mail after I finished shooting my apartment vlog. So, it's kind of cute. Y'all get to see before and after. But I did want to insert this clip because I feel like it really just completes the look of my room. My nightstands are really bare. So now I finally have some cohesion, some symmetry. Um, I had lamps before, but I just didn't like them. That swirly one, I took that off. And then now I have two. So this is the finished look. I'm not touching my bedroom anymore after this. I'll probably mount a TV in this wall right here. But after I do that, I'm done. I love it. It's done, it's perfect. This is my bathroom. I do have a two bedroom, two bath. So this is my bathroom. I got these rugs from Amazon. They're so comfortable. I love like brushing my teeth and doing my skincare and standing barefoot on it in the morning. Such a cozy feeling. My shower, I got, there's not much in there right now. I'm gonna restock pretty soon, but I got these floating shelves from Amazon, of course. And then this vanity, it's Impressions Vanity Company. I got it a while ago and I just use this for like an up close, better lighting when I'm doing like skincare or my hair or whatever in here. So yeah, there's not much to my bathroom. This is my closet. I wasn't going to show y'all because it's not done and it's not organized and it's not cute, but this is reality. So it's fine. It's not that serious, but it is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. I had majority of my shoes in there, but I don't know what happened. I kind of have it organized just by like category of what the clothes are. So these are my dresses, then I have skirts, then I have rompers, jumpsuits, and then I have two piece sets. And then I don't have I don't have anything in there yet. That's stuff I need to fold. That's my bikinis, and this is like long sleeves jackets. So, but it is pretty big. I like her cuz she's open and she's very big and spacious. So, I guess I'll show y'all my patio. There's nothing really, actually no. There's nothing out there, so it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, this is my beauty room slash content room slash office slash whatever else <laughs> I want it to be. So when you walk in, you have my Kindle heart, my YouTube name, which is actually my first and middle name. And then I got these chairs from Amazon. I got these pillows. I don't know where I got the pillows from. My mom got them a while ago, but I've seen these pillows a couple different places, so they shouldn't be hard to find. And then these are the other two books from the little coffee table. Like I said, there was four, so I put two in here, two in my living room. This, I actually had white pompas in there. I'm gonna try to insert a picture, 
but they look so horrible I had to take them out so now I just have now I just have the base I'll probably put some better pompas in there eventually but that's just what it is right now then I have this table that I also got from Amazon this circle rug that I got from Amazon little ottoman Amazon I had to get a small short ottoman because I'm pretty tall and if I put like if I were to sit in like one of those chairs or a chair that size right here my head would be over the vanity so it would be like I would have to duck down to like look into the mirror to do my makeup so that one looks a little short but it's perfect so my vanity this is a little cheap desk that I got from Amazon the drawer sucks like it's so small there's nothing in here that's literally as far as it opens I just got it because I just needed something that my mirror and that my mirror could sit on I didn't need a fancy desk so I just got this this little organizer I got from Target has this is all my makeup y'all like I don't have that much makeup I'm not gonna lie to you I use the same thing every day so this is all my makeup in all of its glory and then this little decor right here with the flowers this Vanity mirror I got from Amazon. It's perfect. I love it. This full length mirror, I got it from Amazon a while ago. And then back there, I just have my Wi Fi box, so I hide it using the mirror. Standing desk, I think. I think I got this from Amazon. It might have been Wayfair. I'm not sure. Um, but this is where I use. I need to get a desk chair still, so that's something I still need to get. But this is where. If I'm working from home, I'll come and put my laptop on here and I'll do some work in here. And I'll usually just bring like either one of the chairs from my bar stool and work here for now. Um, but it is a standing desk, so sometimes I'll stand up. But bottom line, I need a desk chair soon. So I don't really have much on here. Literally just pencils, pens, my passport. This little light is cute. It tap, You can tap it and it turns on. So that's cute and then this right here this is all of my like cords electronics camera stuff headphones adapter stuff to edit um, chargers but it looks really really ugly I'm probably gonna get rid of this bin I've had it for way too long and get like a little drawer or something from Target but that's what it is right now that's what we're working with then I have my ring light a selfie tripod stand whatever this is my guest bathroom it's nowhere near being done yet. I have the same rug that I have in my bathroom, but literally there's no decoration in here. Like, I just threw this in here for whatever reason, but I don't even have like a shower curtain. It is well with my soul just because I was gonna put this in my room, but then I decided not to, so I just threw it in here. But I'll decorate this soon, y'all, I promise. And I have another closet, which is just like a junk closet that I just keep like my suitcases, luggage, different things like that in there.